Chris is a multi-platinum recording artist. Billboard magazine calls him the new prince of pop punk. His new album, Mainstream Sellout, is available now. Please welcome Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> You've played the show uh, quite a few times, but yeah. this is the first time uh, you've been on the couch, as, yeah. they, as they say. Welcome. Thank you. I, I've, my phone's in my pants, but my jeans are tight. I feel like my butt's super square if you saw it, but <laughs> that's not my butt. That's just my phone and my... You don't have a rectangular butt? butt? No. No. All right. As much as I love SpongeBob. See, we're learning nice. about you already. Thanks. <laughs> you, um, uh, I mentioned that you're on in 2012 was the first time. Oh, look this at the outfit. Your first performance. Uh, yeah, I, can I... On the show. <laughs> I remember this day because they were like, do you want a stylist? And I was like, I got this. And, uh, yeah, I, I think apparently... you look fine. Well, is this not a, well, this is not cool, this outfit anymore, or what? It's, it's, no. No, okay. <laughs> but you know what was cool about that day was they, they, uh, a friend of mine was friends with the father of an upcoming Disney star, and they were like, oh, she'd love to come watch the show. And we were like, yeah, we met backstage, and, uh, she moved on to be, like, the biggest budding star of the generation at Zendaya, and she was here watching wow. us. Oh, and, really? Uh, yeah, it was oh, really how about that? Yeah. Wow. I'm very, I'm, I'm very proud of you uh, and everything you've accomplished, and, and that, yeah, I'm super happy for you. That was awesome. Just... That was the last time you saw Zendaya? Yeah, yeah. yeah. When she was just I think a kid. now we're neighbors, I think, oddly. I, I don't know if you know that, but I'm right down where we all... Well, you know, she's not here right now. Yeah. She did uh, not come tonight. Yeah, I, I keep looking at, like, the red light, I'm like... <laughs> no, that's not her, that's another lady. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> You um, uh, and your uh, lovely uh, fiance, Megan Fox, yeah. announced you did a very 2022 thing. You announced your engagement separately on Instagram, uh, individual posts. I think I just, we didn't want other people to announce it, and there was so many people involved. Who I, knew? Oh. Well, I like used one of the employee's phones to get an angle, and then the other, and so he just still to this day has like a 20 minute video of me just waiting underneath a tree. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, uh, Megan was here with Arsenio over the summer. Yeah. He, uh, Arsenio was filling in for me, and she mentioned a uh, trip to Costa Rica, uh, and which the two of you did ayahuasca. Yeah. Was that your first time trying that? Yes. Yeah. And she described it as a trip to hell and back. Her own, it was like her own personal hell. Yeah. Did you have that same experience? Oh, oh mine was, wow. I remember walking up. It's a, it was a circle of about 20 people, and uh, you're in the forest, you're in the jungle, you're, you're, you're dieting, they're, you're they're not eating past 5 p.m. or drinking water or anything, and they, uh, I was the last person to go up and take it, and I remember watching everybody go up and take theirs. They had one cup, one cup, one cup, and they get to me, and the shaman says something to the, the translator, and the translator goes, Whew. she says, you have a big shadow of darkness behind you. You need, you need more. And they like, <laughs> they, and everyone in the circle was just looking when they gave me more of the cups because they all just did one, and I was just like, <laughs> I did like four. Really? Yeah. That's some shadow. Did the shadow go away? On the third night, I remember the <laughs> shaman, he had like a, a bottle of tobacco water, and he did this thing where he went, <laughs> And I saw like gray, like it would look like sand coming from my body. And I watched it go into any one. And I was like, what was that? Was that me? And, uh, and then I came out and have been like this ever since. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just, I, 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 I. So would you say it was a positive experience or can it even be quantified in that way? Um, all jokes aside, it was, it was, one of the most important things that happened to me in my life, uh, but I remember even like going into the third night, Megan was like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I can't go back. They're supposed to put like an arcana over you, like, a, like essentially like a shield, like an energy shield over the whole experience. And her second night, her first night, she was like, rainbows, unicorns, all oh, it was great. Second night, she was like, I don't ever want to see that again. We were we were exercising some things out of us that um, we needed to get rid of. I, yeah, I mean, 
Look, the plant, the plant was a medicine that really went inside. You could feel it uh, working inside your body. And it, even after you left, it stayed there. So it was, it was interesting. Yeah, boy, I would just never do that. I would not be that adventurous. So. <laughs> the guy would look at me, he'd be like, you go home. You don't need a... <laughs> um, Pete Davidson is on your album. Yeah. He's like a little in-between track. Yeah on the album. By the way, this is like an album, like a real album with a lot of songs on it. Nowadays, people are putting five songs and calling it an album. Right. But you really filled the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You and Pete are friends for a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, You, like, lived at his house for a while, right? <laughs> there was a... Or his mom's a, house, right? Yeah a, yeah, a mixture of houses that he was at. We were, there was a period where both of us were, like, kept looking at each other like, is it over for us? Uh, <laughs> and, um, but this, this, that night, I, it's funny. That was a, it's a voice recording on my phone. He, we, st we went to In and Out with my daughter because uh, she's, she, you know, that's his, that's her uncle. And we, we went out. He was like, "Where do you want to eat?" She said a restaurant. He was like, "No, we're going to In and Out." And like we went to In and Out, and I remember we were sitting there on the benches outside. We were eating, and we just saw this couple in a car right there. And the girl was freaking out. She was like, "Oh my God, that's Pete Davidson and MGK." And the boyfriend was so pissed he was like I, you could just see him like mouthing like dude i'd beat them up if you weren't here like for real like <laughs> oh man i don't even they're so corny and like, <laughs> like so we get in the car we're driving by uh this building on sunset and there's this like wall of like all these like famous people like jay-z kendrick lamar who like anybody you could think of and then i'm oddly on there like smoking the fattest blunt that I you think could we have a imagine. video of this wall uh, yeah this is on uh, yeah, Sunset Boulevard, yeah. <laughs> there you are. DJ Khaled, Jay-Z. It's been up there for like two years. I don't think they know what's in my mouth, but... Uh, Pete's not on the wall. He should be. Yeah, but you know who is on the wall is... Um, look at that Guillermo right there in the... Uh, Guillermo, how do you... Wow. I don't know. Wow, I don't know how that happened. You... <laughs> you got um, Little Wayne is on the album. Is that a, like a big deal for you? Oh, that's like yeah. the, that's the biggest deal as an artist, especially from the generation that I'm from. Like that's who we grew up. Like whoa. How do you call Little Wayne and ask him? Do you do it yourself? I cheated. Travis Barker called Little. Travis Wayne, called right? him. Okay. And, and, and then I popped into the Facetime like, dude, we're here. Like, do you want to come? He he was like he was super down. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna pull up. This is around eight o'clock. He pulls up around you know one one a.m. The Sprinter's there. <laughs> and we have all the, there's, there's all these security cameras at Travis. We're like, dude, that's Lil Wayne Sprinter. This is crazy. We wait about an hour. The Sprinter door opens. We're like, oh my God, the door's opening. He walks out, he comes in. He's like, he says, what's up to everybody? I play the song. He's like, this is what we're doing? And I was like, yep. And then, uh, you know, seeing if he, he's like, you guys got time? We're like, all the time you need. He goes in this courtyard, walks around, he walks on the courtyard for like five, comes back in at like six in the morning. <laughs> really? He's like, we're like, he's like, I didn't make you wait too long, did I? We were all like, no, oh, man, no. Man. <laughs> what, no. And he, uh, he goes in the booth, does it in like one take. We freak out, I get in the car, I go wake Megan up. I'm like, oh my God, Lil Wayne just got on the album. And then the album has to be turned in. We have this song called A, we're like, it just sounds like Lil Wayne should be on this one too. Like, should we try? We call and they're like, yeah, he's gonna skate till 7 a.m. But like, and we're like, but the album needs to be turning at 9.30 a.m. And they're like, oh yeah, he got it. I set my alarm for 8.30, I woke up and I'm like, dude, Lil Wayne didn't cut a song at eight in the morning. Dude, the verse was there. He did. And he did a song at eight in the morning. You can always it. count on Lil Wayne. He's like Bruce Wayne. <laughs> he's like Bruce Wayne. He really is. He really is. Well, we're gonna hear, what song are we gonna hear when we come back? It's called Makeup Sex. Makeup Sex. <laughs> Mainstream sellout. We'll be right back with music from Machine Gun Kelly. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.